Dr. Smuts begins his third year as the superintendent of ABC Unified. Over the last three years, Dr. Smuts has led the district through a variety of outstanding accomplishments in the areas of after-school programs, reading initiatives, a technology refresh cycle, academic intervention programs, visual and performing arts initiatives, a wellness program, staff development, just to name a lot. Dr. Smuts recently gave his State of the District address to civic leaders and the Cerritos Chamber of Commerce. Dr. Smuts outlined the ABC Unified Strategic Plan for the next four years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the distinguished but non-surgical Dr. Gary Smuts. <laughs> Thank you. That was nice, huh? Wonderful. I, I ordered that up on iTunes for you. Yeah, well, excellent. We Whoopsie. <laughs> I did want to make sure the people at home knew that you weren't available for knee surgery no. or cochlear Correct. implants, Correct. anything like that, that your doctor is in education. Uh, as soon. one student said to me, I'm not the kind of doctor that can really do anything. <laughs> oh, no! So untrue. It was untrue. So untrue. So you've got a lot of things to talk about. You just gave kind of the uh, direction of the district for the next four mm -hmm. years. What are the kind of the, the big points that you wanted to hit? I want to shine the light on three particular areas. There's millions of things that schools do every day. But, in, but specifically, I want to shine the light on three areas this year. The first is what we call RTI, a response to intervention. Mm -hmm. In the past, if students weren't getting some academic program, we waited what basically was called a failure model. Right. When the kids started failing and was basically out of the mainstream, then we supplied interventions. Right. To me, that, that doesn't make any sense. Not if so. a student isn't getting it, immediately, before that student reaches failure, we want to provide interventions. Right. So we want that student to respond to interventions as rapidly as possible. If you look at what a teacher does in the classroom as a triangle, mm -hmm. there's the base that all teachers provide all students. The best intervention, the most successful intervention, would be in with and under the regular school day. Right. Maybe some special attention here, a little extra work there. Mm -hmm. The next level would be more intensive. If that doesn't work on that student, we have another level, another tier of interventions. Might be after school, might be before school, might be some special work, might be some weekend work, might be summer school programs. But if that doesn't work, then we have to go to the highest level, the tier one kind of interventions where we maybe change that student's day, or the class that that student takes, or a different approach. Mm -hmm. We respond in the most successful, least invasive way, right. and we are going to find a way to make that student successful. That's RTI, response to intervention. The second, is a focus on English language learners. We have 39 different languages spoken in the ABC school district. Represent folks from all over the world. But the, the key, the linchpin to making it in the American academic world is English. Our, our academic vocabulary is in English. Right. We need to move those students from speaking whatever languages they were speaking, some 39, into being fully English proficient. Right. Now the state tracks that, and we actually do better significantly better than the state does moving students from a foreign language to being able to speak English right. but I think we can do better Absolutely. I want students to acquire the acad academic vocabulary of English as soon as possible and if a student stays with us three to four years I want that student fully English proficient in fact ABC does quite well like I said in moving mm -hmm. students from limited English proficient to fully English proficient our criteria is actually more rigid than the state requires. So we have a higher standard, mm -hmm. and yet our students meet that standard better than the state average. I still think we can do better. The third element of the strategic plan I want to focus on is healthy students, healthy adults. I'm in. Good. Well, you look healthy. Well, you look like you work out. You look like you're in pretty good shape. I work out about three times a week, and my man Alan and I, we meet up at the gym every once in a while. Wow, that's pretty True good. story. Well, more people need to be like you and like Alan. Oh, that's true. Um, as folks know, our uh, students are at, not as in good a shape as they should be. In fact, by 2015, one third of our students may have symptoms of diabetes. diabetes yes. We've that's got to do something about uh, the, the youth in ABC. I want them to eat better. I want them to work out more. 
We're starting some programs. We're going to look at PE practices in the elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. And we want a particular focus on nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, this summer, at the invitation of Deepa Shah, uh, we, I attended an uh, Alliance for a Healthy Regeneration program in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's a, the Alliance for a Healthy Regeneration is a partnership between the Clinton Foundation and the American Heart Association to produce a healthier generation of students. And we've joined that alliance. We're shooting for the Bronze Award this year. Yes. And what we're going to do is survey, among many things, we're going to survey our community, both students and uh, our adults, and try to find out what we can do to help them. Specifically, what can ABC do to help our population in our school district? We have people from all over the world. Their cuisine habits, oh, are sure. little, they're not all the same. Right. So we want healthy food. We also want tasty food. Right. And we've got to make, we've got to find a creative way to make healthy and tasty food. Yeah, that's the trick, huh? You, can you think of any examples where we could do that? You know, I, I can. And actually, you bring up a good point, because we had a guest on here uh, last season, mm -hmm. as I'll refer to it. And uh, Deepa Shah is here today to, uh, mm -hmm. I know, crazy. I know. Amazing. Yeah, she's here today, and uh, she's here to kind of to get us kick-started with this healthy eating initiative. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're going to have a chance in about two seconds to, uh, to make a salad with her, a delicious, nutritious, and good-tasting salad. I feel better just thinking about it. Me too. 